Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my makeup channel. So today I'm creating this makeup look which is super easy and it is inspired by Kareena Kapoor's Kohal Eye Look Makeup. And always if you have seen her makeup, the skin looks extremely natural. So I'm going to recreate the same makeup look but in my version. And the main part of this makeup tutorial, I'm going to use all the budget friendly makeup to create this smooth base makeup look. So if you guys are interested to learn this makeup then keep on watching. Here I am with my bare skin. I haven't applied anything right now on my skin. I just washed with cleanser and that's all. So uh, before starting a good makeup, skin prep is very, very important. Without a good skin, you cannot apply the makeup properly or maybe what happens like you applied the makeup and after some time it started cracking or getting dry. So it's very, very important to apply a proper skincare regime before your makeup look. So I'm going to start my skincare with the Cosrx Advanced Snail 96 Mousin Power Essence. So much things, but it's just a serum, which is very, very hydrating, very much nourishment it gives to the skin. So what happens is your makeup will glide very easily to your skin. So I highly recommend this product. Before starting your makeup, you must have used this uh, serum. So I'm just shaking a little bit. I'm just taking two drops three three pumps that's all and now i'm just really emulsifying in my hand and you can see it's very sticky and then just dabbing it to the skin you can see instant glow to my skin so you know this tape is also uh, very much depends on person to person suppose i'm a person who always love a little bit dewy glowy makeup but if you are into extremely oily skin then it's better to skip this kind of product which is extremely hydrating or nourishment because uh, gradually it becomes very oily to your skin so i prefer always a glossy makeup or a glowy look so that is why i always use this kind of product which gives lots of nourishment and a glow to the skin but definitely you can skip it if you love matte makeup. A gentle massage is very important. After the serum, the next product that I'm going to use is a VLCC Clinic Range Pro Youth Moisturizer. It's a Pro Youth Bio Cream. Again, it's a very, very nice and hydrating product to your skin, which will make sure your skin doesn't look cakey or dry after the makeup at all. So again, a highly recommending product. The quantity should be very very less, only this much, just applying. It's very cooling, I don't know uh, like what ingredients they have used but uh, it's very very cooling kind of moisturizer, especially in this humid climate you can definitely use this kind of product which gives a refreshment to your skin. Okay, so for my primer today, I'm going to use the Inside Cosmetic Blur Pore Minimizing Hydrating Primer. So it's a two-in-one primer which will definitely blur my pores, but at the same time, it gives hydration. So as I told you, I'm a person who loves hydration, hydration, and hydration. But definitely, if you're a person who don't need hydration, you like very matte makeup, then definitely you can choose a product which is mattifying instead of hydration. So anyways, I'm taking a little bit of the primer just this much quantity and then just applying all over my face so yeah now my skin is completely ready to start the makeup procedure now these three steps are very very important serum moisturizer and primer now my foundations always have spf so i'm not using spf separately but if you are very much concerned about the sun protections and things you can definitely add on a layer of spf but what i felt uh, if you're using spf moisturizer or spf cream uh, before your makeup sometimes it makes your skin looks extremely oily and you get lots of sweat so better sometime to skip spf and you can use a foundation which already contain spf so that is always a better selection 
so anyways now i will use a concealer to hide my dark circles and any pigmentation that i have in my face so for my concealer you all guys already know if you are following me for a very long time you know that i love forever 52 concealer now this concealer is amazing like this blends so easily it doesn't create any crease lines any uh, dryness to your under eye area or the mouth area and it looks very very natural to your skin and that is what i'm always looking for in a makeup which looks very natural very lightweight so i'm taking the concealer and this is in the shade 003 so i'm applying the concealer on my under eye area can see little bit on the eyelid and the mouth area and just a little bit in forehead okay that's all this much is the quantity that I required now taking a PAC brush the number of the brush is 272 extremely good brush and just dabbing you can see how smoothly it just glides to your skin you don't need to put a lot of pressure a lot of you know dabbing or blending formula to blend this product and this brush works so good like even for my clients when i'm giving a demo or doing my freelancing work I always use this brush this brush is super good you can see okay now the forehead area I'm just applying into the zigzag motion basically I'm just spreading the concealer all over my forehead area PAC Beauty Blender and just going to dab the concealer so that any excess product it will come to my sponge. Now for my foundation I'm going to use one of my best favorite drugstore foundation which is extremely affordable so when i'm showing this foundation you guys might think are you serious are you going to use this foundation because this is so affordable and the brand is not that you know like international or anything it's a very indian brand so how does it work but it works magical to my skin like i love the foundation so here is the foundation it is called the blue heaven hydrating skin tint so it is basically not a very high coverage foundation it's just like a skin tint so you can apply this foundation on daily basis or any simple location where you want to look very natural and this foundation is super hydrating super comfortable it doesn't feel like you have applied a ton of makeup you can talk you can you know smile no lines can come because the product is super lightweight i highly recommend this foundation and i'm in the shade i think natural yes i'm in the shade natural and the best part this foundation contain also spf 25 so which is another very much good thing it has a pump also and it's a lock system so you can easily carry this for any travel so yeah i'm taking just one pump just like this much amount always activate the product and then i'm just Oh, this is also very cooling so you can see like it's super easy to blend so if, if you are a beginner if you are not comfortable to apply high coverage foundation you always feel very difficult to use it I will always suggest go for skin tint kind of product so you can see how easily it covers my concealer and at the same time it just give that dewy glow so you can see I, i'll come a little close to the camera and you can see the finishing this is completely unfiltered i haven't used any filter i'm just sitting in one led light and the natural light that's all and you can see the finishing of the product 
now the next product that i'm going to use is again a very much affordable product but i personally love it and nowadays i can't even think my makeup without the product this is called the o2 velvet liquid blush which look like this and i'm in the shade pink you can easily get this product in amazon flipkart everywhere is below 500 i will definitely mention all the product link to my description you can definitely click there and can buy the same product so this is basically liquid blush now when you're going for a office or any day event liquid blush always gives a very nice natural fresh look to your makeup also gives a radiant skin glow to your look so i'm just taking a drop because this product is very very pigmented so you don't need a lot of product you just need one slight drop and that's all so again activate the product apply on your blusher area immediately blend with spawn now i have used a lot of cream product to my face to so to lock all of this i'm using the forever 52 compact powder and this is in the shade vanilla so i'm using a pizza puff taking the compact and just dabbing it can you see how easy it is i'm not showing any complicated steps because my channel is for everyone so it is not mandatory that if you are a makeup artist then only you can follow my channel not at all so yes my base is done now i'm going to add a little bit of contour blush and highlighter and for all of this i'm going to use one single palette now this is also an extremely budget friendly palette but one of the best one this is from swiss beauty it's called the trio something which is completely gone because i've used this palette a lot so i'm highly again recommending this so first i'm taking the contour shade and just applying a little bit on the cheekbone because it's a daytime makeup so you don't need to apply a lot of contour it looks not good especially in daytime okay now a little bit in the jawline area under the jawline take the brush hold it like this and then just it's completely an optional step if you don't like contour you can definitely skip this part nose area already the blush application is there but just to lock the cream blush i'm using the powder blush on the top of this very little bit that's all from the same palette i'm taking the highlighter shade and just applying on my cheek area you can see the glow Okay, now let's start the eye makeup and for my eye makeup I'm going to use today let's see which palette so for my eye makeup today I'm going to use the Maybelline nude palettes again this is one of the most affordable and it's an extreme good palette so let's start the eye makeup so first I'm going to take this brown shade for the transition color for the eye and I'm going to apply this color into my crease area okay once the crease area is done now i'm taking a little bit of bronze shimmer with the brush i'm going to apply to my eyelid area and for that i need some mirror so i'm going to apply in a dabbing formula and that's all so you can see the shimmer effect is super super nice 
Now what I will use, I'm going to use the brown shade eyeliner. So this is the brown liner from Nykaa. It is again super pigmented and very warm brown. So any skin tone can apply this eyeliner. I'm going to apply the eyeliner on my eyelid area. So I have just made the line. Now it's time to fill it. So yes, my both side eye makeup is done and now I'm going to apply the mascara and today I'm going to apply the Huda Beauty mascara. Now I know I'm supposed to show you all the budget friendly makeup but you need to invest a good amount in mascara because mascara can really change your makeup game because every day it is not possible to apply the false lashes and budget friendly there are so many mascara which are good but nobody can compete the Huda Beauty mascara because this is so so like give you the volume, the length, the extra drama that everything you need for your lashes. So right now I'm using in one side. So can you see the difference between my two lashes? This is like without lash and this is the lashes that I'm talking about. Now the main signature part of this look is the Kohal. So I'm going to use the Faces Canada's Black Kajal. These Kajals are super pigmented, super long lasting, smudge proof and everything that you require for a Kajal. So I'm going to use the Kohal to my waterline area. And here I'm done. I haven't extended the kajal, only the waterline I have applied. And you can see the difference between my both eyes. So let's just do this side. Taking the smudging side from the same kajal pencil and just going to blend it. And that's all. Good so yes, go. my makeup is almost done. Now for my lipstick, I'm going to use the Parul Gurk lipstick in the shade Adore. It's a very pretty nude color. So I'm going to use this shade to you know, match with this. Look. So here I'm applying the lip color. The color is super pretty mauve nude. And yeah, it's my favorite tone of lip color all the time. So here is my final look. I hope you guys enjoy this makeup. If you guys love this look, please do let me know in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel because I'll be coming with lots of new makeup look. Bye bye. See you soon on the next video.